afternoon. Welcome to Options Brew TV with Mark Phillips and Lex. How are you, Mark? Good to see you. Hey, Lex. Good to see you, too. Thanks. So this is um, our continuing series. I think we're calling it the Traders Workshop, um, this series. So it's going to have its own spot on Options Brew TV in its own playlist, let's call it. So we've done a couple of these. We've done some synthetics. We've done calls and puts. We've done synthetic stock. This is the next step, I think, is understanding what we call a box. So it's a, it's, a, it's a few different ways to look at synthetic long and short stock or call spread, put spread. And Mark's going to take us through that, I think, uh, today. Is that right, Mark? Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think that's a great way to frame what a box strategy is and where it comes from. It's the building blocks, you know, taking those synthetics and using those to, to compose this pretty interesting strategy. You know, uh, I think you've said this before, but we used to see these on the floor all the time. Yeah. It's a pretty common strategy, um, you know, uh, that you'd see on the floor that uh, this order flow, you know, it came through quite a bit. Yeah, without, without a doubt. Now, I would I would warn the retail folks. I, I, I warn's not a great word, but um, this probably isn't a strategy that you're going to say, oh, I'm going to go do this this box and, and get it on because it, it, it is it's not arbitrageable. And we'll see what that means when Mark gets into it. So this is a great learning tool to understand the relationship of options to one another. So you start getting a bigger and broader understanding of, of A, this, this particular um, uh, trade. And then we're gonna move along to iron condors and butterflies and everything sort of interlocks and is all related in one way, shape or form. So we're, we're building this foundation as we go, right? Yep, no, I think that's a great point that this isn't necessarily a trade you'd put on the way you put on a call spread or a butterfly or something like that, but it's really important to show the sort of relationships between different options that necessarily need to hold true. Perfect. All right, I'm going to let you take it over. Have, have at it. So the box strategy fundamentally comes down to owning, buying stock on one line and selling stock on another line. And that value of that box is going to be the difference between those two strikes. Mm -hmm. So if in this case, you know, I'm looking at some Bank of America numbers that I pulled up, uh, they're a little old, but like, you know, we're looking at the 40 strike and the 45 strike. That value of that box is always going to be $5. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, you know, minus some other considerations that we'll get into in just a second, but, you know, a $10 box is the 30 strike to the 40 strike. A $20 box is going to be, uh, you know, difference between those strikes is $20. So when I say buying stock on one line and selling it on the other, we do that through what we call combos. And so a combo is where you buy a call and sell a put. And that looks like a long stock position. It's going to have the exact kind of same payout profile as a long stock position. And depending on what strike you do that on, what line you do it on, it's going to have a value that's going to come very close to the value of the stock. Mm -hmm. So if we look at the 40 line example here, um, you know, I have Bank of America worth about 42.12 with the 40 call trading 265, 275, and the 40 put trading 56 at 60. We take the midpoints here, 270 on the call, 58 cents on the put. I'm gonna take 270 minus 58 cents. That comes out to 212. Add that to the strike. You're buying stock synthetically on the 40 line for 212, which is exactly where Bank of America is trading in the marketplace. Right. So that so you add the 212 to the 40 strike, that, that becomes 4212, exactly the same number as Bank of America is trading. Now, one note, um, you're going to not always get the exact number. There's going to be pennies difference, right? Um, and if, if there's a large difference, I would say beware something's up. There could be a dividend or some interest rate things, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but you're going to get right around the stock price. Okay. And the farther out in time you go looking at these things, the more divergent it's going to be from the stock price because of interest rates and or dividends. Okay. Exactly. The cost of yeah. carry is sort of that main play in a whole box. And right. you know, commonly some of that order flow that we were talking about was used for lending and borrowing purposes. You know, yeah. people would come to the options market and use a box as a way to borrow money. Um, and if, you know, the prevailing interest rates in the options market were better than they might be able to get somewhere else. But that was a tool to sort of borrow and lend and you know, ultimately speculate on. Right. Too. Okay. Now, now, what are you going to do on the 45 line here? So, and I'll also say the, the box is a four-legged spread. So it's, it's two calls, two puts in, in how Mark's describing this. So what, would, what are we doing on the 45 line? So real quick, just to confirm with the 45 line that our combos are going to hold 40 cents on the call. 328, let's say on the put, 328 minus 40 cents, 
288, 288 from 45, we get our 4212 again. Right, so, right to this numbers on a T, right? Yep, Num it's, you know, and so the stock is trading at that price on the 40 line and that price on the 45 line, right. as we'd expect. Okay. So with a box spread, you know, we talked about buying stock on one line and selling it on another. And we're doing that through these combos. So a long box spread would be buying the combo on the 40 side and selling the combo on the 45 leg. So that's the lower strike you would buy in a long box and sell the higher strike to create a long box. Exactly. Okay. And so then there's another way that you can start looking at that. So we looked at those with combos that you're buying, you know, buy call, sell put, sell call, buy put. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. Buy call, sell call, buy put, sell put. Those look like call spreads. Those look like put spreads. Yep. We can build a box using call spreads and put spreads. So buying a call spread on one, uh, you know, on the 4045 side and buying the put spread on the 4540 side, that value is going to come out exactly to what the value of that box should be. So real quick running through that 270 minus 40, we got 230 on the call spread. Mm -hmm. We got 58 and 328 on the put spread, 270. Mm -hmm. 230 plus 270, five bucks. That's the value of that box. Right, right. That's great. So and, and what's what's great about that is he's doing that five dollar spread on each side. He's buying it, so it's a debit on both sides. Okay, mm -hmm. he, he's buying the call spread, creates a debit. He's buying the put spread, creates a debit. The sum of those two two uh, debits must be equal to, or at least very near to, the difference between the strikes. So Mark illustrated two thirty plus two seventy is five. It's a five dollar put spread. I'm sorry, it's a five dollar strike spread. Uh, voila, we're in the the five dollar range. Exactly. And you might see these trading a little less because of those interest rate considerations. Right. Let me, um, let me share my screen too, if I can, um, and show what this looks like in the spread builders and see if the math works out. So I've got some current prices right here, which are a little different from Mark's. Um, and so let's just see if we get near that $5 thing. What do you, th what do you say? Let's take a look. We better, okay. otherwise we're going to make a trade. <laughs> That's right. All right, here we go. I'm getting the screen sharing going. Let me know when you're, you can see it, Mark. Yep. No, we got Bank of America up right yep. here. Bank of America. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do Mark's exact spread. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 40 combo. So I'm going to buy, look at my arrows. I'll just make all the arrows first. So let's just do that. Boom. And then boom there. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, where, I'm, where I'm clicking, I'm creating the synthetic on the 40 line. Remember Mark referred it as that. So that's the long stock version buying a call, selling a put, same strike. Okay, so we're right around 41.80 in the stock. The current price is around 180 is midpoint. So if you had 180 to $40, it becomes 41.80, very, very near 41.78. And remember, pennies are, are not gonna matter too much. Okay, that's part number one. Now let's do the synthetic on the upper strike. So we're gonna sell that. We're gonna buy the put, sell the call. Now this whole package should be somewhere around five bucks. And let's take a look. Well, if you look at the price of my spread that it fills in, that's the midpoint price. That is exactly $5. And incidentally, you can do this anywhere. Any $5 strike should be always around five bucks. Okay, so far so good, Mark? Yep, looks great. Okay. No, One more thing I'm gonna, on. yep, I'm gonna clear it out. And I'm gonna show you the call spread put spread. Let's do the 40. 45 call spread. Okay. So that, that price for that is a debit of $2 and eight cents. Mark, you do the math for me. $2 and eight cents. Okay. Now I'm going to clear that out. Let's get the put spread. We're going to buy. Wait, the let me, put let me guess. I wonder what, I wonder what this put spread is going to be. Worth. Yeah. What do you think? 292 bingo. 292. You were off by a dime. So it's 292, 208. That becomes $5. Is that right? Perfect. No arbitrage there. No arbitrage there. So I'm just going to add the other two legs so you can see that it's now $5 is, is, is the final the final price. So it's it's two combinations. It's either call spread and a put spread, two synthetics. They all have to equal up um, to our $5 uh, number. Make sense? Beautiful. Okay. I love so, how these things come together. Yeah, it's unreal. So I got, I, that's how I, I started learning the, the relationship of options. I started with synthetics and boxes um and some synthetic calls synthetic puts then i get to interchange these things in my mind so i get to understand the whole board better 
right? And, that, and then we're going to move into butterflies and condors, as I said earlier. Um, so when you have a good grasp of all this stuff, everything starts to, to kind of, you know, come to light and focus in your mind about trading options. So these are important concepts to understand. Again, not super tradable uh, in today's market, but really important stuff to learn. Wouldn't would you agree with that, Mark? Absolutely. And I think they're a great way to, uh, understanding the, re, these relationships is a great way to identify something that might be curious in the market. Yep. That, you know, if you see a box that should be a $5 box and it's only priced at 480 470 mm -hmm. it might make you think twice about what's going on. It could be highly negative interest rate. It could be something, right. you know, there's a lot of potential wonkiness and that might give you pause about, you know, thinking about your position. So it's good to understand kind of where these things should be even if you're not necessarily going to put on that position. Right. No, that's all good points. Okay. Let's close it here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. Nail that, nail that uh, subscribe button, which we'd love to have uh, our channel grow and build. Um, and if you like the video, please give us a like, that'd be great. Um, we, there, there are be a lot more of these coming out. There, yeah, there's, absolutely. There's yep. And w there are risks to this box. And if you see behind Mark's head there on the, on the grease board, um, interest rate and early exercise and something to do with some dividends or, and or interest rates. We're going to talk about that in another video. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, try to hit us at 11 o'clock central time on Thursdays on the market shot with Mark and Lex. Um, and it's a webinar. So, you know, sign up uh, and, and uh, we'd love to see you there. Look forward to seeing everyone. All right. Thanks, Mark. Good to see you as always, Lex. You too. Have a good one. Talk soon.